Ukraine said that it successfully struck the headquarters of the Wagner Group in the Luhansk region. The mercenary group has been taking an active part in the conflict on behalf of the Kremlin. The hit comes just days after photos posted online mistakenly revealed the location. Serhii Hadai, the governor of the Luhansk region in eastern Ukraine, said the base was destroyed by a precision strike after its whereabouts were established thanks to a Russian journalist. Pro-Kremlin war reports also acknowledged the attack. Some revelations suggest Russia deployed the group to Ukraine in late March. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how social media posts enabled Ukraine to hit Russia's Wagner Group headquarters. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Wagner Group was reportedly founded by Dmitry Utkin, a former Special Forces colonel and veteran of the two wars in Chechnya. Wagner Group has been linked by Western intelligence agencies to the Russian oligarch Yevgeny Prigozhin, who is a close associate of Vladimir Putin. Prigozhin, known as Putin's cook because his restaurants and catering companies have hosted lavish dinner parties for the president's inner circle, is thought to own it. He was reported to have been at the base days before the Ukrainian strike. The presence of Wagner paramilitaries has been documented in Libya, Mali, and Syria, as well as Africa. Members of the group have repeatedly tried to assassinate Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, according to multiple sources. As per a report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a Washington-based think tank, the Russian government has found Wagner and other private military companies to be useful as a way to extend its influence overseas without the visibility and intrusiveness of state military forces. Ukraine was able to locate the headquarters after a Russian propagandist, Sergei Sreda, accidentally revealed its location in photos posted to Telegram on August 8th. The video showed a street sign with the address of a nearby bomb shelter, which allowed Kyiv to figure out the location. According to unconfirmed reports, HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, supplied by the U.S., has been used in this strike. HIMARS has one universal pod that can accommodate six unguided or guided missiles of 227mm caliber or one MGM-140 Army Tacoms mounted on a standard M-1140 truck frame. With the Extended Range Guided Rocket GMLRS, or Guided MLRS, which have been provided to Ukraine, HIMARS can reach a land target at a maximum range of 46 miles or 75 kilometers and have a reliability rating exceeding 98% for a CEP of 10 meters. As per some estimates, around 100 fighters were killed. The Wagner Group has been used to do the Kremlin's dirty jobs. It has a notorious reputation. It's speculated that the Wagner Group is used by the Russian government to allow for plausible deniability in certain conflicts and to obscure the number of casualties and financial costs of Russia's foreign interventions from the public. Because it often operates in support of Russian interests or foreign policy objectives and is reportedly trained on installations of the Russian Ministry of Defense MOD, several sources consider the group an arm's-length unit of the MOD or Russia's military intelligence agency, the GRU. The strike showcases the perils of social media posts in the war zone. It's very important to sanitize them very carefully before posting. 
Ukrainian intelligence has been good when it comes to the identification of key Russian assets, as already seen when Russian ammunition dumps were targeted. The strike again validates their agility and prowess. Another aspect is that with HIMARS in Ukrainian hands, Russia has very little margin for error on the battlefield. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.